On this episode of Tips and Tricks, we're going to talk a little bit about a way to save you a ton of time using text expansion. That's next on Collider Tips and Tricks. Collider Tips and Tricks, sponsored by Collider Sustaining Sponsors. Thank you for your support of the Rochester entrepreneurial ecosystem and donors like you. Welcome everybody to another episode of Tips and Tricks. My name is Jamie Sunsbach and I'm so excited this week to talk to you a little bit about one of my favorite all-time hacks, which is using text expansion to make your day more productive. Now, many of you may not know text expansion. I think maybe a lot of you in the more technical world uh, may have heard of it and use it when you're coding, but text expansion can be an amazing way to really take a lot of the repetition out of what you do every day and turn it into a one or two click or a certain phrase that you use that will basically insert text, repetitive text that you use every day, uh, little snippets of things that you need like your phone number or your business's phone number or address. You can easily create all that in a myriad of text expansion software programs for uh, Mac, Windows, and Linux. But uh, predominantly for this one, because I pretty much run all Apple, we're gonna talk about how you can do it probably the most effectively on not only Mac OS, but on iOS as well. So let's take a look. All right, to get you started on text expansion, uh, why don't I just go ahead and show you an example? So I've created a test document here in Google Docs, and Let's just pretend this is a email correspondence you're having with someone and they're asking, they want to meet up at your location and they want to know what the address is. Well, instead of actually having to type, you know, 14 4th Street, Southwest, Suite 203, you know, the, the usual stuff, um, you can use text expansion to automatically fill that in for you. So really, if you think about text expansion, it should really be focused on repetitive things that you're constantly having to throw out in emails or in documents that you can just quickly uh, type a simple little phrase in and it will fill out a lot of text for you and save you a ton of time. So uh, there is no right and wrong way to make uh, text expansion snippets. Uh, so I tend to use a lot of hashtags I don't tend to do a ton of stuff on Twitter, um, and I'm very, very careful and selective around the hashtags I do actually end up using. So in this case, if I want to do exactly what I did above plus more, um, you know, it takes a little while to type all that. I can simply type in hashtag ADD, and that will automatically fill in my address. So that saves you a little bit of time. That little bit of time adds up quite significantly. So really at a basic level, that's all there is to text expansion. Now you can get pretty intense with this stuff. Um, you can try out different software that will basically create entire forms for you or entire emails. And we'll talk about that here in a second. But at its basic component, all you're doing is typing in a short snippet of text and it's generating a lot of text in the background. So this can be super useful and save you a ton of time. So there are a lot of different applications that you can uh, download and use. So a couple of uh, the ones I like, uh, one is Text Expander. So I started out way back in the day. I first learned about text expansion uh, through a podcast, I believe, that was talking about how you could use uh, this tool, Text Expander. And I know the company has sort of developed over the years, so it's become a lot more uh, a lot more feature rich than it used to be. It used to be a simple download, uh, free download that you could go in and you could just put in your snippets and easily uh, have it on your computer. And I know now they've added things like cloud syncing and uh, a lot more work that will really help you, again, as they're saying on their website, communicate smarter. So one of my favorite apps for the Mac that is so underestimated is Alfred. And we're going to do a whole series of what you can do in Alfred. Uh, for now, just think of Alfred as spotlight for your Mac, but kind of on steroids. And it's something that I've used uh, for probably the last almost decade to really navigate around my Mac quickly and easily. But for now, let's just talk about 
one of its superpowers, which is snippets and text expansion. What you see is a typically a, a lot of what Alfred can do for you on the left here. Uh, but again, we're just going to focus in on the snippet. There's a lot of things you probably repetitively type every day. So a couple of examples I have here is uh, Collider's mission statement. So if I type hashtag blurb, that will actually fill out the mission statement for Collider in any email or text document. And that's just one of those things where, you know, I've, I know the mission statement. It just takes a lot of time to type it. And when I want to type it, I want to make sure it's exactly the same as the Collider website. So by just doing this sort of uh, hashtag or pound blurb, you're able to get that inserted into your document or your email instantly. Um, I have another one I like called first time. So, um, you know, if people are trying to come to Collider for the first time, uh, sometimes they don't know how to exactly get into the building. Um, with every email that I'm sending out to someone who's meeting me there for the first time, uh, I just do a simple hashtag first time, and that'll paste in all the information, all the parking instructions, everything that you need for Collider. A very simple snippet is date. And this comes stock in Alfred. It's one of the first snippets that they'll provide you for free. And I kind of looked at it and thought, well, this is useless. Uh, but this D date uh, has been probably more helpful than any other snippet that I use because it's you use the date a lot. And so by crafting this, all you have to do is go into a document, type D date, and you get the current date. That's great when you're taking notes uh, you're doing a lot of stuff uh, on different forms. It's just a very easy way to instantly insert the date. Here's another one that I love. Uh, I have a, this is a personal thing, but I have a really tough time with this 501c3, our nonprofit status. And so I came up with whenever I start typing 501, that it just goes ahead and fills in 501c3. And that's just a couple of characters but it's just a way to, as you're writing, you can just continue to write super fast and it's just filling it in for you. Uh, another one I use a lot is meetings. So if you wanna schedule time with me, you know, it's a link to my Calendly, which we've covered in a previous episode. And people are asking, you know, what date's good for you? I can instantly do hashtag meet me and it'll insert the best way to schedule time with me is calendly.com slash collider. So those are some, uh, a couple of the snippets I use that I use pretty much every day. It saves a ton of time, it's super helpful, and it's something that I highly recommend. So let's show you how fast it is using text expansion. And we'll use, uh, we'll craft a pretend email, and we'll use a lot of the hashtags that I just discussed using Alfred. So let's say uh, we're meeting someone for the first time at Collider. So uh, we might start out, hi, Let's talk about our mission first. So we'll do hashtag blurb. So that'll give them a little bit of understanding of uh, Collider and what it does. And then I, I would love to meet with you. And then maybe uh, meet me. So that'll insert the best way to schedule time with me is calendly.com slash Collider. And let's add something else. How about where we are? So uh, first time. And that will add a little more information about what's going on. And in this case, it even added uh, sort of the salutation at the end and my name. So, you know, you can imagine if I was doing this super fast, I was uh, slowing it down a little bit for the example here, but... I definitely can quickly plow through this email and get it sent off and get on to the next email or really on to that focus time to really create, which is su super important and sometimes gets lost when you're trying to craft the perfect email. So probably the cheapest text expander there is is actually built right into your Mac. So I'm here in System Preferences. If you click over to Keyboard and then choose Text, you're going to get basically what a lot of the low level, uh, usually freemium downloads of text expansion programs will do for you. And you can easily go in and add your own text expansion. So every time the Mac finds that you're typing, in this case, uh, you know, hashtag or pound address, 
you can it will go in and insert. So basically, it's exactly the same as Eddy Text Expander. Now, I think there are much, much better software that's a little more full featured out there, like an Alfred. But at the same time, if you're just looking to kind of for a few different hacks that you could enter in, this is a good way to do it. At the same time, you can use this exact same method by going into settings within your iOS device and doing the same thing. So I really feel that you're gonna save a ton of time with this once you can implement it. And it takes a little bit of a learning curve to sort of remember the hashtags, but once you kind of learn the codes, it gets pretty second nature for you. So definitely thank you all for checking this out. So that's text expansion, a very easy way to save you a ton of time. Have a question or comment for us? Feel free to respond in the comments below or email us at hello at collider.mn. We would love to hear from you. So that'll do it for another episode of Collider Tips and Tricks. My name is Jamie Sunsbach, and we'll see you next time.